How's it going guys? Welcome back to another vlog. I did not get a chance to uh, figure out how the harnesses work for the fog lights. I'll probably do that during my lunch break today. But uh, you know what we can do is uh, fix those horns, the Hella, uh, Hella Supertones. Uh, they're a teal color right now and I don't go with that theme anymore. So I'm going to try to paint them red. And uh, that's it for today. I'm really busy today doing other things. That's basically it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. built a screwdriver in the car so we're heading there right now <laughs> so if, as, if you guys forgot this is what the car looks like right now with the fog lights in the uh, front lip looking nice and I think my Phillips is if I can open my car Keys. dirty car right over here that's what I need okay there's the harness all right I gotta run back in because I got class in like three minutes. All right, bye-bye. Well, I got my horns here and I think I'm gonna paint them differently than how I normally do. I normally just take out the screws and then I just paint this bracket over here. But this time, I think I'm just gonna cover the inside of part of this and then um, I'll paint it uh, just like that while it's still on there because I really want to paint over these lug nuts or these bolts over here. So I'm gonna do that instead. Uh, and that way, it'll get a more proper seal. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm fine with the rust over here, unfortunately. Um, I'll be fine for right now. So right now I'm just gonna tape off all this stuff and then I'll go straight to painting. So I painted the inside of these Hellhorns uh, black and it's pretty well dry. I mean, it's still carrying a little bit, but uh, what I'm gonna decide to do is I'm gonna tape off with blue tape the interior of here and then we'll see uh, the red uh, pop out over here as well. So we're gonna start taping it up and we're gonna get to the red. I got the sides taped off, or actually, sorry, the insides taped off. So now I'm gonna hit it up with the red, just up here. Here we go. Oh, running out. I'm gonna put it in red, and we'll see how we do. All right here is the painted red. It's looking good so far. And if you guys didn't know, this was the original color of the Hello Horns, uh, but I didn't feel like stripping it uh, off again. But anyways, uh, this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna wait maybe a day. So I'm gonna go hornless for a little bit again, and that will be. Uh, done and cured and then I need to fix the bracket in the back in order for it to be able to see better. So that's that um, So right now I only have about Three minutes until first grade so I need to get ready I don't know what the glass clip that you saw but I'm heading home right now because I'm getting kind of tired after this uh, after school class so uh, uh, I'm not gonna end the vlog. I'm just gonna end it right here and then you'll see me in the next day the next day and I'm in my closet and you can see the horns are all done and they're ready to go back onto the car so uh, I didn't um, take off this bracket and I replaced it with a new one I just figured I'd uh, hot glue it again or sorry not hot glue uh, super glue it again and it, it held up pretty good it held up for like a year and a half so I figured I'd do it again uh, the reason why I don't want to do a new bracket is because I can't for the life of me get, get these off I have no idea how to take these off I, I tried everything. I vice gripped this whole entire thing. I tried all my strength to try to take this off. I even used like a hyper-powered thing. I, I don't know what to use. I used WD-40. I used everything. I don't know how to get these off, so I'm just gonna keep them on. And then um, these should still work. So the reason why I did that is because uh, I want it to be hung up at a specific height. That way you could see the horns through the grill. So I'm gonna install these after work today because I'm super busy. And um, that's that. Oh, by the way, the fogs are still uh, not working. The harness is not working still. I need to figure out that another day. So they're installed, but I'll have to work for another day. So right now, I'm just going to keep eating and uh, drinking my snack before my next class, which is in uh, 10 minutes. And then we'll go from there. I have no idea when I ended the last vlog, but uh, it's another day and it's in the morning. And uh, I'm on my way to work, but I figured I'd take a pit stop at this little parking lot and uh, fix my horns. So let's get going. We're in the back of the car, getting my tools out. And um, so I want to install the horns uh, and then also maybe even the uh, rear tow hook. And they're matching, so let's get to it. I need a 10 millimeter socket. That's missing, I have no idea where that went. So I need this, I should be good to go. Well, I just finished. Uh, good news, I was able to install the rear tow hook and fix my turning signals because those were messed up in my DRLs. Uh, the bad news, uh, I tried the Fox. They still don't work. I don't know what's going on. And I tried uh, doing um, the horns, 
well, one of the brackets fell off, and the other one is just plain not working. So I need to figure out what's going on with that at a later time, because right now, I'm running late to work, so I gotta get going. So, let's go. Hey guys, happy Monday. So it's the following week, so I have no idea how many uh, days are in this vlog. Uh, so this is gonna be a compilation of um, stuff that's going on. But uh, basically, um, I had to fix the horn, if you guys didn't remember from uh, the last, uh, not, not, not last video, but last time I spoke to you guys. And uh, I'm redoing it again, so that's why I have it clamped down with a couple uh, paper clips. I don't know, clamps, sorry, paper clamps, and uh, let that dry with super glue. This is nice, this is actually pretty nice. This is a, a brush and nozzle, so you can apply it two ways. So I'm letting that dry, and um, what else is new? Uh, when it comes to the car, I can't figure out the. Uh, I, I read everywhere. I did everything I could. I watched videos, I watched the forums, I looked up articles. And basically, the, the harness for the fog lights are incorrect. So I need to make sure I had to cut it up or something and then uh, figure out how the correct wiring is supposed to be and then I'll get it all fixed by myself. I was thinking about going to an actual dealership and getting it done, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to spend that kind of money. So um, I was going to do it myself, uh, like all of the mods I do, except today. Uh, and that's basically it. So I need to get ready for the day and uh, I'll do you guys. I'll update you guys in a few minutes. So I'm in the car wash with my wife's car right now. I apologize, I haven't been doing anything throughout the day, but um, I ran out of time. But you know what, tomorrow I'll have a lot of time to do stuff with the car. So I'll see you guys then. But after I wash this car, I'm gonna wash my car. So let's get going. My car doesn't have a moonroof, so this is kind of interesting to me. <laughs> and my window, uh, her windows aren't tinted at all, so I like see everything now, <laughs> which is really interesting. So you guys, I'm almost out. So uh, yeah. Park Alex's car, there's my car. And then we'll take my car to the car wash. So I'm not sure if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> Park, take out the keys. All right, this car is clean. All right, my wife's car is nice and clean. And then next is my car. There's bird poop everywhere, there's pollen. So let's take it to the car wash. <laughs> All right, we're here again, but this time with my car. And uh, <laughs> I got um, an upgraded wash, so I got like the, the works, I think it's called. I just gave Al just like a regular car wash with like an undercarriage thing. But mine's everything, so that's why the soap looks different. <laughs> Anyways, uh, should be done momentarily. You can see with the uh, tinted windows, it's a lot darker in here. <laughs> so uh, it's not as intimidating with all of the uh, spinners. All right, car wash, all clean. There we go, put the bike rack back on. Wheels looking good, and no damage to the front license plate or the front lip. So we're good to go. Well, welcome to day four. Uh, sorry I didn't get anything done yesterday except a car wash, but um, hopefully I get a lot done today. So we'll see. I can get a medium ice caramel macchiato with skim milk. So my goals are to find the missing piece to this cell phone mount because it keeps falling apart and I need to hot glue it together. Um, uh, put on this USB thing, finally install this thing, if you guys haven't seen it before. And hopefully try to take some pictures of that uh, fog light harness so I can uh, send it to my friends. So I used to have a friend that used to have a Prius and he was really into modding and then he got something different. But um, he was able to uh, wire his fog light so hopefully uh, he can help out. So. Those are the main goals as of right now. Um, and then after that, I have to have a 45K service with Toyota. That's gonna be my last service with them. And after that, I'm gonna do everything by myself. So let's get going. It's seven o'clock, we're here. So uh, let's see what we gotta get going uh, in school. There's the car, by the way. So we're in my studio, AKA the closet. Um, <laughs> so I need to unpack uh, some stuff from my gym bag. My normal bag. Uh, there's a couple new things I got. So these are brand new markers. These are the studio set markers, the double tips. So those are brand new. And then I got a brand new light box. And that's really thin. Look how thin that is. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. Um, and then here is my other horn I need to install. That's basically for right now. Uh, there's robotics in here, so in my art room. So I'm just gonna hide in here and uh, do my YouTube channel videos for the uh, other channel. So let's get going. I'm on my lunch break. Here's my car. You can see there's only one horn installed, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking pretty though. All right, we're gonna head out and we're gonna use this gift card that my mother-in-law gave me. So let's get going. Even a little bit early, 
but uh, almost home free. I need to go to the gym. At the gym, I can head over to the countryside to get my 45k maintenance done. So let's get going. All right, almost there. Pulling in right now. You guys can't hear me, it's because of the air conditioning because it's hot today. Ooh, there's like no one here. Well, it's because I kind of got here kind of early. But anyways, I'm about to park and there's tons of parking in the front. So I'm gonna park right now with one hand. <laughs> all right, all right, here I am. Okay. Finished my 45K service with Toyota and I'm at a park right now and I already installed my two horns again and they work perfectly fine. So I rewired everything. So these are uh, the OEM ones, but then I rewired it and I rewired that one as well. So they both work, which is great. However, I was able to take off the harness for the fog lights. So it's just fogs with the bulbs in them at the moment. Um, so here it is right now, and I have no idea how this works. So I looked everywhere. So those are the two for the fogs right there. Those are the bulb plugs, and then followed by the plug that goes to the connectors for the uh, switch. There's a grounding wire, followed by the actual plug itself, a uh, little fuse tap, relay, another ground, and then the 12 volt. And then I'm assuming this one connects to the brown wire in the uh, car in the ECU. However, I plugged everything in and it's not working still. So I need to figure out what's going on. I'm gonna send this picture to my friend Neil. He is a previous, uh, uh, previous, previous owner and hopefully he'll know what to do. Well, I am finally about to end this vlog. Uh, you guys are all caught up right by now. Um, so I'm gonna upload this tonight, hopefully, if not tomorrow morning. And uh, that's basically it. I hope I can get my fogs working eventually. Uh, doesn't look like uh, anytime soon uh, until I get a response back from my friend. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.